Good afternoon. This is Chemistry A, Unit 1, Atomic Theory, Day 2. Today we're going to talk about parts of the atom. And you're familiar with most of these parts of the atom. There are three main parts of the atom that, that make up all atoms in the universe. And that's the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. We'll be getting to that in just a moment. So subatomic particles mean just what it sounds like, subatomic. Anytime you put the word sub in front of a word, it means less than or beneath or part of. So one important change from today, from what we talked about in our last video on Dalton, is that atoms can be divided. They can be broken down into smaller fundamental particles. Electrons, shown as a yellow E, protons, green, P, and the red N for the neutron. Okay, so let's talk about the electrons first. The electrons carry a negative charge. They were discovered by a gentleman by the name of J.J. Thompson. He used a cathode ray tube, and that cathode ray tube had its own parts. And here, as you can see, is a picture of the cathode ray. It had a cathode which was a negatively charged piece, the anode, which is a positively charged piece, and it had a screen, and it was full of, of gas, and when it was plugged in or turned on, a light beam would shoot through it, okay? It was a glowing, that cathode ray was a glowing beam that traveled from the cathode to the anode, okay? The charge on the electrons were, were negative, of course. The mass of a electron is very, very, very small. One 1,840th of a hydrogen atom. The symbol was as E negative. Now, let's go back to mass. The mass is insignificant. Does not mean that there ha it has no mass. The best example that I can have is Remember, mass is the amount of particles that are, that are inside the object. Let's talk about a human being. Let's talk about a, uh, a human being with a lot of hair. All the hair particles make up the mass of the person. If you pull one hair particle out of somebody's hair, you have changed the mass. But have you changed the mass significantly to notice? No. But there is, that little piece of hair does have a mass. And that's how the electrons relate. They have mass, but it's so insignificant, we basically say that it's about zero. The second particle is the proton. They were discovered by Goldstein, and they have a charge that is positive. So, electrons, negative. Protons, positive. They have a relative mass of about one, one AMU. And their actual mass is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 24. So, relative mass of electron is 0. Relative mass of a proton is 1. The location of the proton is in the nucleus, or the center of the atom. And the symbol is P positive. The third subatomic particle that we're going to talk about are the neutrons. They were discovered by Chadwick in his gold foil experiment. And you can take a look at that experiment on page 107 in your text. His idea, Chadwick's idea, was that the atom is mostly empty with a small region called the nucleus in the center. The protons and the neutrons are located in the small, dense nucleus, and the electrons orbit around the nucleus in a cloud occupying most of the volume or the space. So up here where the mouse is, that right there is our nucleus. Okay. The charge of a neutron is zero. It is neutral. It has no charge. And the relative mass is one. The actual mass, just like the proton, is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 24. The location, as we said before, is the nucleus. Ignore my spelling error. And the symbol is N with a little zero showing neutral. And here is the Bohr model of the atom. 